All right, we got uh, quite the squabble working here with uh, Navy Thomas and uh, Phil B on the program of the 90s. I think these would be the two. So they're they're not completely out of bounds on this one. Uh, they, they certainly would be the two. Uh, Miami trailed off way too much in the latter half of the 90s to have a claim. I think these are the two, Florida State and Nebraska. Nebraska's got the three championships to Florida State's two. Uh, Florida State possibly... Mm, not really. I was going to say more consistent, but Nebraska pretty much dominated through the entire 90s. And uh, obviously up until that um, championship game that they played in 01 against Miami. Um, yeah, that's a that's a, a call that uh, I'm going to have to possibly work on for a video team of the 90s. But it's 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 a close call, Greg. Uh, you've got uh, Nebraska's got that uh, national championship edge three to two. Uh, Florida State ripped off. 14 consecutive top five finishes, uh, but Nebraska was dominant throughout that decade. You know what they say, Mark? It's all about the rings, baby. It's about the rings, so Nebraska takes it. Okay. That's all you got to say. <laughs> I mean, look, look at the historians. Uh, they call Nebraska the team in the 90s. It's not just Nebraska people. <laughs> so it's, it's not a debate for me. <clears throat> okay. Chris, well, you got anything else to say in that State one? was awesome. Yep. Bobby, Bobby, Bowden, Bobby Bowden and Tom Osborne, man, both of those guys are legends, and you know they deserve to to duel it out. You know, those are two of the greatest of all time. 